Good morning, everybody. It's day 121. It's the first day of May, and it's gonna be a very long day. What do you think, you spider cat? Yeah. Look at this ridiculousness. That's where you wanna chill, is it? That's the least. Oh, you're the one. Yeah. Do well. Yeah. We'll see you soon. <laughs> 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 I love you. Love you. Love you. Bye. Mate, you're a legend. We know who you are. <laughs> yeah, please. We, we need to hear your song. I put you on my vlog. I will sing, but that, yeah, please. <laughs> it's a pretty commercial song, you know. <laughs> yeah. Original, it. normal. It's in the video clip. Pump it. Yeah. Woo! I best the words. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's the best. International Airport, Emma. Uh, it's national, yes. Yes. I'm a pretty Yes. I'm a pretty Yes. 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 All right, we're at the airport. We made it. All right, this is Manjit. He's a superstar, brilliant musician. He's got a good song called Song Australia. You gotta check him out. Please. <laughs> Thank you, Shepard. You blessed my cab and me, mate. Uh, it's a pleasure, man. Thank you for your positivity. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great country. My song is a positive. Need more people like you. Well, that was a nice send off. It's always great to get a good cab driver and this guy was so excited. <laughs> so excited to see us. And we've had him before, I remember that song. We've actually told people about him. There's this cab driver in Brisbane who's got this song called Fair Dinkum Aussie and it's just, yeah, it's the positivity we needed this morning. Good vibes heading back to the States. Things are looking up. We all got business upgrades, yes. Well, that's honestly just made my day. It's gonna make the journey so much more comfortable. And is it crazy that I'm most excited for the ice cream? Gotta love this lady handing out whiskey shots at 8 a.m. <laughs> it's funny, as soon as you cross that customs gate, you're in international waters, technically. So, time doesn't exist. Brisbane Airport. Yum, yum, yum. Yummy, yum. Got a brekkie out here anyway. Let's have breakfast with Dad one last time. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Love you too. Good luck with everything. Yep, you too. Bye. <laughs> and then there were three. We lost Emma. And then there were two. <laughs> <laughs> we are incredibly lucky and very grateful for this. Thank you, Travel Gods.
International Airport with a local time is 5.54 a.m. and today is Wednesday, May 1st. Made it through the U.S. Customs. They're always so suspicious. If you're a band, what kind of music do you play? I'm like pop music. Oh yeah? Like a big band? I'm like, well, you might know a song it's called Geronimo. Hmm. And you can see that they know the song, <laughs> but they still want to seem like suspicious. For some reason, they make you come all the way outside to just get back in this security line. What a nightmare. Someone out there explain to me the logic behind you just come off a flight, an international flight, and then they send you outside to go back through security. That just added another 40 minutes to our journey that didn't need to happen. Ridiculous. And we're back at the Polaris Lounge where we get to have a shower. And this time they've given me a hair dryer. I've got to say, there's nothing quite as life-changing as a shower after a long-haul flight. Now that we're all feeling a little bit more refreshed, we are off to Houston. San Francisco to Houston, flight number two of three. From business to the back. <laughs> We made it to Texas. Still got one flight to go, which is in for another couple of hours. And we've just been told that we have morning television. We gotta do an acoustic version of Geronimo Mode at 9.45 a.m. Oh boy, that is brutal. This is a bit of a treat. We, we, we didn't know if we were going to be able to get into the Polaris Lounge here in Houston because um, our business class flight was two flights ago. But we scanned our boarding pass and he's like, welcome. <laughs> now we're sitting down to restaurant, uh, restaurant quality meals. I got the burger. The girl's got the vermicelli bowl. Let's see how we do. Not the um, vermicelli bowl I used to. <laughs> oh, my burger looks right there. Oh, and a little, little cookie with some ice cream in a frying pan. Mm. All right, heading to our final flight, Houston to Charleston. Oh boy, what a long day. Uh-oh, we got one of the tiny planes. <laughs> it's not a propeller plane, at least. <laughs> Amy's not too keen on the small plane. I'm literally at the back row. <laughs> yeah. Just as proof that we're not always uh, traveling in that absolute luxury.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Charleston, South Carolina. Quite literally the opposite side of the world to where we started. We made it, but did all our backs. Just over 24 hours in transit. Uh, now we, as Amy said, go to the baggage carousel. It's not over yet, we still have to get to the Airbnb. I know, it's not over yet. Emma has accurately pointed out we still have to get to the Airbnb. What is the time? It's 9.30 p.m. And we got morning television. <laughs> We have a vibe here in Charleston. Taxi! We squeezed in. We made it. All our gear is in the car. We made it to the Airbnb. We did it. Back here. So there's someone that lives there, by the way. Where? In the back. Oh, jeez. Final bit. Which one? Where am I? Looks like a bathroom. That. Ah. Ah. Okay. All right. I have my choice. I choose this one. <laughs> Why did you know? I did not know. I knew. I knew. I, knew. <laughs> no. I did. I did, and I knew you'd fucking say this. The closest surprise, Dad! Alright, guys, just for the evening. It's the biggest. Uh... No, I'm not really like that, but I'm pretty, pretty bloody wrecked. Uh, quite possibly the longest first of May I've ever had. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it's just travel, but I'll try to make it entertaining or at least show you what we get up to. Uh, but I appreciate you guys, and as always, I'll see you tomorrow.